What's going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's been a long time. It really has since I've been in Euro Truck Simulator 2. There's just been so many other games out that I've been playing and haven't really had a chance to get on Euro Truck and some of you guys were like bring it back, bring it back, please bring it back. So I loaded up Euro Truck Simulator again and remembered that I had one mod pack installed and you may be able to tell what it is based on what you see in the mirror but it is a military vehicles pack and we have a massive missile launcher truck uh, that's got to be probably one of the largest things I have if not the largest thing I have ever towed in Euro Truck Simulator 2 so we're gonna see how this goes um, it's a little bit of a wide trailer so we might have to take some really wide lines and we'll see uh, I picked a picked a fairly um, I don't know fairly uh, decent sized route um, not too long obviously because uh, it's not you know um, not like something that'll take like three days or something, but, um, it's, it's a decent route, and we'll see what happens, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't screw up anything too badly. Come on, man, oh wow, it takes a while to get off the line. And I'm gonna try to use first person mode as much as possible. I might not use it when parking, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna try and use it as much as possible during the delivery, even though I have this massive, massive trailer. I'm gonna get over in the left lane, just so I have the ability to sweep. Well, actually, no, I can't do that. That's a little bit illegal. <laughs> That's a little bit illegal. Oh, don't get caught, please don't. Uh, pull, come on. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Oh, we can back up. I'm actually surprised about that. Oh, it's so bogged down. Oh, no, 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 no. Traffic behind me. Stop honking. Trying my absolute best to get out of your impatient way. The wheels are just spinning. That one wheel's just spinning. Or one, actually two tires, but still. I mean, it's inching and inching and inching, but. The transmission just keeps wanting to shift up. It doesn't hold the lower gears. We're inching off of it, though. Yes! Yes, I managed to get it unstuck. Finally, jeez. That took a while. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I'm going to have to be so careful with this with a trailer this wide. Well, this wide and this heavy. I don't remember exactly how heavy it is, but I can tell you that the truck has a lot of like it's got it's got a lot of trouble just kind of just like picking it up like off the line. It's got a lot of trouble with this trailer. Although, we're kind of out on the highway now, so should be decently calm from here on out, let's hope. <laughs> it should be decently calm from here on out. That bus just overtook me like a maniac. Then again, we're only going 29 miles an hour, so... <laughs> I feel like it's weird, because I feel like um, the sense of speed in Eurodruck is, like, reversed as to what sense of speed is like in other games. Because, like, in Eurotruck... When you're going 30 miles an hour, that feels like, uh, like for most other games, that feels like what, you know, 60 would be. You know, 60 or even 80, 90, 100. That's, it feels like that's what it would be, um, in, in, in any other game. And like, 80 in Euro Truck feels like 
200 in Forza. It's it's weird how that works, but I don't know. It's like the sense of speed is reversed, and I guess the the sense of speed in Euro Truck is a little bit more on the realistic side. You could say that, I guess, but I guess it all depends on where you look at it from, and I, I you can tell that they they definitely tried to make a more realistic sense of speed as far as like what it would be like if you were actually driving one of these trucks, but. Actually, let's see how much traffic I'm holding up behind me. None! I am honestly, like, seriously impressed with that. I'm about to hold some up, though. Uh, big Volvo! <laughs> oh, jeez. Please tell me you have enough power to pull this up the hill. Four miles an hour, holding. Four miles an hour. Come on! Come on! Yes, there you go! There you go! Boop! A big Scania. <laughs> go, 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 go! God! Oh, jeez. Don't! You idiot! Thank you, the Ford Focus is gonna let me go. Nice man in the, or, or, or person, like, whatever, man, woman, person in the Ford Focus. Let me actually pull out as opposed to that Volkswagen. At least I think it was a Volkswagen. And neither one of them is an actual licensed car model, so you can't really even tell. These back roads are, are not very good for this, uh, for this trailer, though. And this particular truck, since I just took this as a quick job... This particular Scania doesn't really have all that much power, so... But I guess that kind of makes it a little bit more entertaining because it's more, um, it's more involved and you have to be a lot more focused on the actual, uh, on the actual drive and what you're doing because you have to manage your power and you have to, you have to actually keep your momentum up rather than, you know, getting to a hill and being like, okay, I can just go full power and it'll be fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that and that's fun, you know, you can get a lot of stuff done fast by doing that, but... It's not quite as difficult as using a somewhat underpowered truck like what we have here, a somewhat underpowered truck to, uh, to pull a ginormous load. Picking up a little bit of speed. See if we can, uh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and keep my average around, like, 40 or so for this road and this truck. I'm gonna try and keep my average around 40 miles an hour. I'll see if I can do it. I may I may not be able to do it just because of all the curves, but we'll see. I can see in my mirror, though, I'm starting to hold up a bit of traffic. This is not working out well. You come around a corner, get stuck behind this this like this uh, truck with like pulling this load. You're just like, oh yeah, I'll be I'll be to work on time. Oh shit, he's there, isn't he? <laughs> because there's absolutely no way that if you get stuck behind this thing, there's no way that you're going to get to where you're going on time because I guarantee you that it will be slow as hell. I mean, we're, we're seeing that now. Well, not really right now since we're charged. Uh, oh, God, we've veered into the other lane. We're starting to pick up some speed. I still don't have the, uh, the feedback dialed in properly for the controller, so the, the steering is really twitchy. And it's, it's buzzing to tell me to get off the side of the road. Although I don't think I've ever been in this area of the map, and it's actually quite nice. It's quite a beautiful area of the map. I have to admit. Wow, 57 miles an hour. Uh, uh. Oh, jeez. Are we okay? I didn't want to go into the third-person view because I wanted to keep this as official as possible. As non-third-person view as possible. The only thing is, now that we've lost all of our momentum, we need to, like, literally just drag all the momentum back. God, that is huge. It's so much bigger than the actual truck pulling it. It's huge. It's crazy. Log trailer. Ha! <laughs> Try pulling this. But seriously... I, I don't know what that sign means. I'm, like, there, there are a lot of European signs in this game that I have no idea what they mean. Um, because being from the U.S., you guys over in Europe have a lot of signs that, 
that we don't have. So it's like I see these European signs sometimes, and I'm like, I have no idea what that means. So if anybody in the comment section actually knows what that sign means, let me know, because it would be I'd, I would like to know, because I see it all over this game. Just looking around, this is actually, I'll be honest, it's quite a nice view. And yeah, people are passing me. I don't blame them. I would too. In real life, if I was behind this thing and I got a, I got a dotted line, I would, it's, I would absolutely pass this thing. First chance I got, actually. Considering the amount of time we have left to go, or, or amount of distance we have left to go, are you serious? Another semi is passing me? Or Lori, if you're in the UK or Europe? Yep, he's passing me. Then again, we're going 17 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, not messages. Not that. Okay, 13% truck damage, 3% trailer damage. 7 miles an hour. Oh, come on. Please. Please. Go faster. <laughs> go faster. Just go faster. A little bit faster. I'll take an extra two miles an hour right now. Please. I might as well fill up. I mean, is a gas station right there. I might as well just fill up, even though I don't have to. Like, I, I, I could just... I guarantee you I could get to the objective without filling up, but... Two things. I want to fill up the truck, and I also want to let all these other people pass because they've been stuck behind me for, like, forever. So, I'm going to be, like, the nice guy and let them pass. Engine malfunction? Oh, God, no. Please don't tell me we're having engine problems now. Nearly there. At least I think we're nearly there. Over a thousand, yep. Just over a thousand, and we're good to go. Start back up. And ho and hopefully we don't have any more engine malfunctions on this trip, because I would hate to have that. I would absolutely hate to have that happen. I know I just kind of blindly pulled out, but I didn't think there was anybody coming, so... I thought we were good to go, and thankfully I was right. Whoa, look at those. Dang, I probably shouldn't be looking at the scenery because the last time I did that, um, it caused major issues. Okay, big corner. We're going to have to manage our speed if we want to stay in our lane. Uh, 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 no damage on that, but what was it? You know what? I want to see if I can adjust... The steering. Because I feel like... Hmm. I feel like I could have it m be much better. Maybe... Hmm. Let's try that. I mean, let's just try that and see how it is. It might be better, it might be much worse, we'll see. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, that is so much better. So much better than before. I can actually turn the wheel without the without the whole truck, like, darting to the side. I can feel it, like, leaning, though. It's scary. I feel like I'm gonna flip it. Our customer expects delivery very soon. Okay, okay. Power, come on! It's because of this freaking slow truck. I, I get up, I get on these hills, and the thing just goes 10 miles an hour, so... Dang. Man, if I, if I'm late for this delivery, that'll be like the very first delivery I have ever been late for in Euro Truck. Seriously. Yeah, don't have to turn. No, Nuremberg. Stay straight. Or the... I feel like the graphics aren't all the way up. But you know what? Then again, I, I probably have to... Uh, I'd probably have to reload the graphics if I changed them. And I don't know how Fraps would like that. It'd probably hate it. 
No. Holy shit, that was close. Damn. Oh my god. No! Wow, my engine just literally like restarted on the fly like that. That was crazy. I thought it was gonna completely just. I thought it was gonna completely die, to be honest. Now looking outside the truck, you, we could like I can actually see how slow we're going, and just get a sense of that. And back inside because inside the truck is by far the best view. And now that I look at this cabin, it's actually a pretty bare cabin compared to my uh, customized Volvo. I have a customized Volvo. Uh, oh gosh, what is it? A Volvo Globetrotter, I think. And it's got so much inside it, like, and it looks so luxurious inside too. And like, I've got like a bunch of lights on the exterior, and it's it's a highly customized uh, rig. And this Scania just looks so bare compared to my Volvo. It's crazy. I'll try and use my Volvo in a future episode, but. Uh, we'll see. I saw that windmill moving, and then I was like, wait a minute, is there somebody moving, like, out in the field? Like, I thought I saw a tractor moving out in the field, and then I realized that... I, I don't think that there are any actual, like, moving vehicles in this game that, like, besides the traffic. There might be, but... I don't know. I don't know if it's all just stationary, or if, like, if, they, if it actually moves. Because, like I said, I haven't played this game in a while, so <laughs> I, I'm kind of having to get used to that again. Nice little, just, I don't know, it's just kind of a nice little random town. Don't really care that I hit that because I'd much rather hit a, a, a little thing on the side of the road than go up a hill and flip over. Much rather. Much, 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 much rather. Seriously. Dang. But, um, actually, I did want to, uh, I did want to give you guys, um, a little bit of an update on my car. Now, by now, I'm sure you guys have seen some of the driving videos that I've done, and I plan to do more as soon as I can get a, um, well, I should actually rephrase. I'm gonna do more GoPro videos soon, like, uh, very soon, but I'm not gonna do any, like, any videos where I'm, like, where I'm talking while I drive, like, a car vlog until I get um, a camera that, that'll actually pick up my voice really well inside the car, because the way the GoPro works is, is weird, because with it being in that case, it, it has a lot of, um, it, it seems to have issues with, uh, with fuzz on the sound, and it just picks up a lot of outside noise, and so what I might do is see if I can record my voice on my phone, and then record the, the video with the GoPro, and see if I can synchronize the two together. Kind of like recording gameplay. Oh, go! 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 Five miles an hour! Go! Merge at five miles an hour! Six miles an hour! A whopping seven miles an hour! Ooh, traffic car! They take no notice of you whatsoever. Okay, what? No, that's the horn. Okay, we got our lights on. And our wipers. I remembered that I, I'm so happy that I remembered the key key, bleh, key combination for wipers. But um, back to the talk about car videos. Um, I'll try recording my voice on my phone and just seeing how that goes because it, who knows? It might work, and I just might be able to do it uh, with the phone and the GoPro. Um, but I, I just haven't um, I haven't had a chance to try that out. But when I get a chance to try that out, I definitely will. And I built and I plan to get uh, some some more camera equipment in the future to where I could do like panning shots. And things like that with with the car as well, and and other cars. I, I definitely want to start making more um, actual car videos. And I was actually looking at um, looking at new wheels uh, for my car the other day. I was like looking at uh, my options for wheels, and I there there are a couple of different end keys that I really really like. But um, I actually found one that a specific set that'll actually fit onto the stock tires of the FRS, which I really really like because. I like how the stock tires are skinny enough to where they actually let you um, have a little bit of fun with the car rather than being super sticky all the time. And I would love to go up to 18s or maybe even 19s eventually, but the thing with that is you have to get a uh, you have to get a wider tire. And I I feel like 
unless I were to upgrade the power as well, that might not be so good for the, um, just for the characteristics of the car, because I really like the characteristics of the car, uh, the way they are right now. I really, really like it, and that's why, that's why I'm really kind of inclined to go with a, a wheel that fits the stock tire size, so we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't, I don't know when that would be happening. I have no idea, actually, but I'm highly considering going to, uh, going to a car meet in, um, in Atlanta, that, well, just outside of Atlanta, actually, um, next month called Caffeine and Octane, so if I can get to that, that would be, uh, that would be awesome, and I would definitely do a bunch of, um, like, a bunch of videos while I'm there, take a bunch of pictures, put them up on my, uh, on my Instagram page, if you guys, um, would like to see, actually, if you guys would like to see just daily random pictures that I just post or things that I find, um, you can go follow my Instagram page, the link will be in the script, that, uh, in the description below, but, and, yeah, this is my exit right here. But, uh, also, the, oh gosh, what was I gonna say? Um, but yeah, this particular meet slash show, whatever you want to consider it, um, that I'm planning on going to, they have, like, every, pretty much everything shows up there. Everything from, you know, you got your imports, uh, you've got, but then all the way up to, like, Lamborghini Aventadors, um, more Gallardos than you could count, um, just tons and tons of cars. Um, they're pretty much... What the heck? Headlight usage of... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, go, 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 go. So, wait a minute. The... What was the key command for that? No, not that. Uh, that. Okay, so I had only turned on the interior lights. I meant to turn on the, uh, the interior lights and the exterior lights. Dang. I can't believe I did that. That sucks. Oh, man. We're so close, but I don't know if we're actually gonna... <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna make it in time. Eight minutes, which is more like... Seven minutes, yeah, which more in Euro Truck Simulator time, that's more like 14 seconds. So, we're not gonna make that. Well, maybe if we get there quick enough, jump the red light and auto park? Uh, I don't think so. I don't care. I'm, I'm about to get to that. Uh, I'm about to get to the destination. Am I stuck? Not now. Go. Oh, come on. No. Not now. Not now at the end. Please, no. Yes, one stuck, but I don't know if we're going to make it because of it. Come on. No, go, 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 go. Get off the wall. Oh, my God. We're not going to make it, I don't think. Oh, no, 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 no. Two mi yeah, we're not going to make it. Dang. We're so close, too. So close. And since I've never failed a, like a delivery before like that, I don't know... If it's going to just cancel the job immediately, or if it, it's just going to let us get there but pay us less, I would I would hope that it lets us actually get there, because I would hate it if it just kind of canceled the job on us and was like, you know what, sorry, we won't let you deliver this. You were like a couple minutes late. We're caught again. Oh, go! I had my, I, like, I had the gas, like, I, I was on the gas, but it just wasn't going. Oh, come on. Such a wide load. Dang. <laughs> One minute in Euro Truck time. Dang. And it's right around the corner, too. That is such a fail. That is such a huge fail. Especially since it's right there. Don't hit me, please. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Oh, no way. Zero minutes. If we auto park, we might be able to get this. Go. Go, 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 go. And auto park. Oh, late. Aw, jeez. We were so close, too. I was just kind of, eh, but... 
Um, and oh, yeah, because it, the, the save says Angel because just because of the fact that a while back I downloaded a modded save um, just so I could uh, customize a truck and use some other uh, trailers. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And if you guys want more chill Euro Truck videos, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And again, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.